Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of PSD to CSS Online uh, video tutorial series. Um, it's been a little while since I made a new video tutorial, so uh, thought I'd make one. I've added two, at least two new features uh, since the last one. Both of them are pretty cool, so I made one demo that has uh, that uses them both, and I'm going to show it to you today. The uh, two features are one is the uh, uh, image gallery. Actually, I think I did make a video of the image gallery. Sure, I did. But the other one is uh, is brand new as of yesterday, and it's a comment uh, feature. It's, it's really kind of amazing. There's some uh, great folks over at uh, js-kit.com who uh, made a uh, a plugin for uh, for any kind of web page that is a is a very complete and uh, robust um, comments module. So if you want to allow your users to uh, leave comments on your web page, now with uh, PSD to CSS Online, you just draw a box where you want the comments to be. You name it uh, whatever you want, underscore comments, and uh, and convert it to a web page. Convert your PSD file to a web page at, uh, at PSD to CSS Online, and, uh, and you automatically get the, an amazing comment system. And that's all you have to do. You don't have to write any code at all if you don't want to. Uh, it's, however, the, the comments are extremely customizable, too. There's all sorts of stuff you can do to them if you want. Uh, so anyway, let's, let's uh, get started. Uh, let's see here. Here's, a, here's the, uh, the page I'm going to make. This is a Photoshop course. You can see here I've got uh, just a fairly simple looking kind of web page. Uh, I've got three thumbnail images there. That will be the uh, the LB thumb layers for my Lightbox uh, plugin. And uh, this layer over here, here, let's highlight it. This layer right here is going to be our comments section. And as you can see, it's called C underscore comments. If you're uh, watching this video on uh, YouTube, um, the quality has been pretty poor on YouTube for these uh, webcasts, uh, screencasts. So uh, if you go to the website, there will be another version there that's uh, much higher quality that you'll be able to read everything. So, um, so if this looks interesting to you and you couldn't quite see what's going on, uh, please come to the website, uh, PSD to CSS online, and uh, check out the high quality video. So, uh, so that's pretty much it. I just made this big gray box here. Here, let's zoom out a little bit so that we can see what the whole page looks like. Just made that big gray box there. Called it C underscore comments. Could have been anything in front of the underscore comments. Um, this box above it is my uh, is it's just going to say. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay. There. It's just going to say. Uh, um, comments. It's just a title for the comments area. Uh, this part over here, this big gray box, that's uh, going to be the body. Here it's called body text. And uh, these three thumbnail images are going to be the uh, the LB thumb uh, layers. And you can see them over here too. Red tree underscore LB thumb, flamingos underscore LB thumb. Um, and as you probably know, that means that if I have a redtree.jpg file in uh, the same folder, uh, after conversion, uh, this will be a functioning uh, Lightbox uh, page, and uh, and this will basically be my little photo gallery with some comments for people to leave about my pictures. So uh, that's called demo.psd. Um, I've already saved it out here. It's sitting in this folder. You can see demo.psd, and you can see flamingos and red tree and sea lions JPEG. So uh, I'll show you all. We, just as usual, all you got to do is is upload this to, let's see, find my desktop here, uh, demo, is upload demo.psd to uh, to uh, PSD to CSS online. And uh, it'll chug away here for a little while. Um, write all the code for me, of course. It'll make an HTML file that includes uh, all the appropriate CSS layers positioned correctly. Uh, it'll include all the JavaScript that ne is needed to make all the dynamic stuff happen. It'll include calls to the JS-Kit uh, comments system. And it will also include uh, reference to and all the appropriate J uh, JS files for the uh, LB thumb. Okay, so here we go. It uh, finished. We can look at it here. And uh, you can see there is a comment section. And you can see that my LB thumb stuff is here. But uh, if I click on these, the JPEG files aren't where we want them. So uh, what we'll do is download the zip file. There we go. That's all the stuff that was generated. 
I'll drop it into this folder so that uh, so my images are there. And then we can just run it right from here on the hard drive. The text is red, as it always is, and I haven't filled it in with anything interesting. But here's the comment section. Just showed up. I can leave a comment. Uh, and, of course, uh, the lightbox stuff works as well. So uh, the comment system, uh, it knows where your web page lives. And that's how it knows which comments to show and which comments to update. Uh, so I could leave comments here now, but it's this particular version of the index.html file lives on my hard drive. So that's kind of pointless. In fact, that's what this is, a little message about it. So uh, let me show you the, uh, the one that I made. Let's see if I can remember where I put it. Oh, yeah. Um, the, I made it exactly the same way just a couple minutes ago, uh, but updated the color of the text and uh, put something a little more meaningful in here. And uh, and because it's now served from PSD to CSS Online, uh, I have a meaningful spot to put comments from. So here's the first comment I put. Ha, uh, this is the first to leave comments. But I'll show you how qu quick and easy it is to leave comments. I mean, this is a very complete and robust uh, commenting system. Now I'll be a John Doe. I have no email, and this is now the second comment. And I'll click on uh, Submit. And uh, sure enough, it added the comment to the page. These are live comments that uh, can be replied to. I can edit my own comments. No one else can. Uh, there's all sorts of controls that you can do. The, the uh, people over at js-kit.com really did an amazing job. It's a fantastic tool. And uh, now with uh, PSD to CSS Online, you can just drop it straight into your web page. So here we've got, in literally seconds, a, uh, well, I guess it took me a little longer to draw the page, but in literally a few minutes, a, uh, a very small photo gallery and uh, a comment section for it. And uh, that was it. Very straightforward. Didn't have to write any code, really, other than add some text and change some colors for the text. Um, so there you go. And again, if uh, you're watching this on YouTube and it's hard to see, please uh, visit PSD to CSS online and, uh, and uh, watch the high-res video there. Thanks.